Hey guys, welcome back once again to the channel. We're back with more Sunship content. Today's episode is going to be all about printing. We're going to go into the details of how to get it done and how to start making all those glorious printed tiles as well. Now this is currently the last unlock at level 20 and it is quite complex stuff. So we're going to do our best to simplify it for you and show you exactly how we start to print our tiles so you can have a go yourself. So if we go into our factory here, we've already got in place a little setup that we're using for this demonstration. Now this works just as well in a normal setup. We're just importing these to make it nice and simple today. So in order to get your printed tile to work, you first need to have a plastic plate. We're importing our plastic plates from the very top here with this importer, and that's going to feed directly into the printer itself. In order to decorate these printed tiles, you also need to have inks. We've got some ink coming in from the left hand side in these glass bottles and also from the right hand side here. Now you can edit your own patterns as you might have already seen. We're going to decorate this tile. Now one really important thing to remember when you're printing tiles is anything that you cover with the black shade on your pattern is going to be populated by the ink that you input on the left hand side. Anything on the white shade that you're colouring in on your pattern is going to be inputted by the right hand side ink. One of the big top tip to remember is do not connect the same colours through both the left and right inputs to the printer. If you connect the same colour into both inputs, it won't work. So only use one side if you're planning on using one colour only for your printed tiles. So if we start the factory up, we can see the left hand input, the blue input is being populated by the black ring and the right hand input is being populated by the orange and that is forming the box shape that we've printed onto these tiles and we can then utilize that in our factories. Now you can currently only produce two colors in each printer which is why we've got a second printer set up just below. In order to get more colors onto your printed tiles you can set up some printer chains and add more designs to these. So if we then start to add a third and fourth color to this we can put more boxes on our design here. Save that, select two more colours to utilise. We're going to go for a black on the left and a white on the right. If we turn this on again, we can see the black and white has been added to the printed tile. And that's how you approach getting more than two colours on your printed tiles. If you don't want to have these massively long chains, you can just import the already printed on tile using the importer straight into the printer and then add more colours to it that way. There are a couple of cool features you can use whilst trying to edit your pattern. If you utilise these buttons here, you can actually print in a sort of mirrored fashion. You can do simultaneous designs and that just mirrors the designs onto each side instead of you having to design them all individually. You can also invert the colours if you do it in the wrong colour using this button here. And you can also clear the design using this rubber feature. Now once you're happy with your design and you've got a few of these made, you can transfer them from your in-transit storage to your permanent storage here. And if you click on this bottom left corner here, your printed tile inventory, you can see all your different designs. You then simply place them down on the floor tile that you want and start decorating your factory floors. Now you've got a couple of different options here in this storage capacity. If you use this button here, you can actually delete the tiles on the floor However, if you want to delete everything, you can press the one next to it and it will clear all the tiles in your factory. Now, you might be wondering why we've got all these different ones here. Well, we've had to go up printing our own little custom design. And you can see here, it's called the Video Edge Factory. And we've had to go up printing the logo on our micro factory floor. This took about a day and a half to complete. The V is a bit wonky. The E's are much more easier to do. But nevertheless, we're quite proud of this. And you can start to see all the different custom designs you can make when you start to put together all the individual pieces on the factory floor. We might do another video later on to show exactly how we did this. But for now, sticking to the basics. And we hope you've had a little bit more enlightenment on how to make these printed tiles Go ahead and try and produce them yourself. Make up some cool designs. Don't forget to share them with us. If you do make some good ones, we'd love to see them. Nevertheless, if you do have any follow-up questions on printing, please leave them in the comments below. We're always happy to help. But until next time, thanks for watching and bye-bye.